Just one fact, okay? Let me just, just to break this all down, okay? It is this. My freshman year of high school, yeah. I rewrote a Snoop Dogg rap song <laughs> for trigonometry class. <laughs> extra credit, you guys, extra credit. I know, I know. Let me break that down for you. Basically what that means is I did not make out with a guy until I graduated. <laughs> college, college, you guys, fucking college. Smartcar College is a very good school. Fucking one, two. 3.1 foe, Jen Doggy Dog, fucking pie jokes, you guys. <laughs> pie jokes. High school boys love pie jokes. Very sexy. Oh my god. So sexy. Yeah, I grew up a good girl, but you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, yo, I was a, uh, you guys, I was born in Taiwan. Yeah. And I was made in Taiwan. My parents did it. That's what that means, you guys. That's what that means. In case you didn't get that. Picture them just like, yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys are amazing. Listen, uh, yo, I just want to shout you guys out. You guys are so loud. So where, where are the Vietnamese students at? What? Fucking loud as fuck, Vietnamese student. Loud as fuck. Where are the Koreans at? Yes. Yes. Where are the Filipinos at?
oh, it was just too much. I found myself becoming so judgmental that literally half of the men that I said no to, if they just showed up at my doorstep with homemade mac and cheese and a password from HBO Go, they'd be in. They'd be fucking in. But now I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm a seven with my boobs. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? So this is what happened. So this is what happened. You guys, one time, this is what the last straw, I had to delete the Tinder. I was, I was, you know, driving. No, 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 no. I parked my car. No, 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 no. And I got into such a meditating fugue state of judgment. I got out of my car, I went out into the wilderness. I saw a hot guy walk by and I went up to him and I just swiped him right on the forehead. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna leave you on this. Um, I'm proud to be Asian American, you guys. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. So, so, so happy to be Asian American. See, here's the problem. For some reason, America feels the need to remind me that I'm Asian. Yeah? Just in case I forget. Oh. Okay, right? Right? Yes. To hear, let me explain to you. This is what happened. I was up at Mammoth, right? You know, it's a popular ski resort, Mammoth. Right, so I was up at Mammoth snowboarding for the first time, and I go to the store, because I'm like, I go up to the clerk, and I'm like, hi, I like to buy some snowboarding goggles. The clerk, a tall, skinny, 20-year-old with long, straight blonde hair and a slouchy knit cap and a long sleeve shirt under a short sleeve girl, shirt. Let's go. <laughs> she looks at me and says, yeah, we got Asian goggles. I know. And she walked to the back, I'm like, Asian goggles? What are they? Extra slanty? <laughs> what do they have on Hello Kitty? Okay, when I put them on, do I see the world in anime? <laughs> Look at the Asian goggles. Look at, she brings them out. Turns out they're just regular snowboarding goggles with extra foam padding under the nose. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit, I thought you were racist. Turns out you're just trying to tell me I have a flat face. <laughs> Skyler, I'll take them. You guys, they fit really well. Oakley's, Asian fit, you guys. Oakley's, Asian fit. They're a really good product. Okay, you guys, that's my time. It's been amazing. You guys are amazing, crowd. <laughs>